Welcome everybody to 20 Minutes of Peace. This is a little series I'm doing to help people, help ourselves uh, in a short period of time get a little boost. So I'm doing this series. You could replay these and do these um, more frequently. You know, if you like a practice, do it every day and give yourself that peace. Yeah, states of mind and states of energy and ways of feeling and thinking are become habits. And they so they come from your past and then as habits they stick and um, so habits can be changed. So the way you're feeling, your energy levels, obviously there are many factors that um, affect how you feel, what you think, how you're doing many, many factors. I'm a life coach, so when I'm working with people, we can look at many parts of ourselves that all contribute to our well-being. So I'm not pretending that this little 20 minutes to peace is uh, a panacea and that's going to solve all your problems, but you got to start somewhere and you've got to do many things to uh, improve your situation. So yeah, to take care of yourself, right? Self care, self-help, self-personal development. So today I want to look at this phenomenon that many of us uh, have been through, which is when, when a challenge is going on for a very long time, when something isn't turning out the way you want it to, when you can't find your way through, you can't seem to make things better or figure things out. And so something you don't like is going on for too long. Something you don't like and that may be even dragging you down is going on for too long. Either because you don't know how to deal with it or because the circumstances are so large. So a global pandemic, you know, you don't have control over everything that's difficult and some things are very, very big. So what happens is that our energy to thrive and, and, and overcome, surmount a problem, we start getting tired physically. We start like, ah, oh, I don't have the same energy. <laughs> this happens when you get older too, but there's not just the physical energy component of courage and discouragement. There's the mental, emotional, spiritual component, psychological component to, ah, I just don't think I can do it. I don't see hope. I don't uh, see a way out. And I start to go from cur encouragement to discouragement to uh, maybe despondency, despair, depression, right? And you may not, may or may not be in a deep depression, but your energy is either <clears throat> you know, to move forward and, and, and keep striving and thriving, or it's going down and you sort of feel some measure of giving up. It's a phenomenon. It happens. So... <clears throat> Again, there's many factors to it, and I'm not pretending to solve them all for you today, but there's something we can do for ourselves in a short period of time, 11 minutes today, to mm, revive physical energy and that psychological, that mental, emotional, spiritual energy within us that we call the spirit of will, willpower, not, not willpower, just will. Do I have the will to keep going? So let's see if this 11 minutes can give you a little boost in that way. And let's see, invest 11 minutes, a few breaths and, and, and see if you feel better. And if so, well, that's just that much up instead of that much down today, right? So here's what we're going to do. Please join me. Tips of the thumbs together, tips of the pinky, we call it the mercury finger together. The other fingers are just straight, but it's relaxed. And when the heels of the, well, 
you'll then create a sort of a shape that looks like this and it'll be relaxed in front of your chest. And when we start breathing, your eyes will just get lazy. So they're barely open. That's a very relaxed position. And if that bothers you, just go ahead and close them. Okay. So we're going to do the, uh, something to revive your spirit to thrive. That's catchy. Revive your spirit to thrive. All right. So it's simple breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, but with a little, a little attitude. A little, a little energy like this. Sounds like this. Uh, I'm sorry. It's in through the mouth, out through the nose, like this. So on the inhale through my mouth, I'm filling the lungs completely. And on the exhale, it's through the nose, exhaling and completely also. But listen to the sound. That's the sound of when you're mad or determined, right? Determination. So your mind for 11 minutes is going to hear the sound of determination. The physical feeling of like, right? You don't have to overdo it, but that's the energy of it. It's like a bull, you know, pawing the ground, getting ready to charge. Very determined. Ready to go with me? So let's do it. Relax now. So the breath is determined, but the body is relaxed. Don't tense up with this. Watch. Okay, here we go. Hear that sound? And now this sound. Take in that delicious life elixir breath through the mouth and then through the nose with determination. So it's a strong breath, but don't be doing it with tension. Don't create this like I'm trying so hard thing. No, it's a strong breath, but it's a confident breath, relaxed, purposeful. That's the attitude we're trying to revive in ourselves. Again, just a light thumb, light fingers touching, other fingers are up. Your eyes are very relaxed, barely open. It's okay if they close. Good. Find that sweet spot. You're not trying hard. You're just relaxed, confident, and working strongly. You're feeling your strength. The lesson here is that it's not your physical strength. It's not your littleness that has to go against the great world and insurmountable odds. No, it's just your focus, your spirit. You can relax and not fight the world, but be part of it. Be in the flow of things. So feel the flow of your breath. And hear the sound of life coming in, of power in you going out. In my work, Senses of the Soul, we're talking about the emotion of depression. Depression's a scale where you go from empowered to given up, to just total despair, right? Okay, so all of us flow between that when we're up and we're down. But for 11 minutes, you're just going to be right in the middle, steady, not up or down, just in the flow. 
so that you're not, the lesson of depression is, what's not working? What do I need to give up, right? Surrender in the highest sense of the word. Surrender in the honorable sense of gracefully bowing to something and then merging with it so that your tiny will becomes in flow with, in sync with what we call divine will, the way that the universe is flowing, whether you like it or not, to merge with that, not fight it. So bring these thoughts, these possibilities in with your practice as you're breathing. Can I accept the way that the universe works and is flowing and find my individual will to be in sync with it, not fighting it, to accept and to move on. Let's keep going now. Please practice with me the full 11 minutes. We're about halfway through and we're working on just this simple technique to shift your physical energy, <clears throat> help balance it. Maybe you're overworking and you're exhausted. Maybe you're under stimulated and you don't have any sense of, of, of drive or of possibility. But then it is the psychological part, the mental part. It's probably more important than the physical, but they're both huge factors. Do I feel it's possible? Do I have the will, the hope, the sense of personal power, as small as it may be in light of the universe and the way the world is? Do I have ownership of my will and can I let it be part of thy will? Maybe you're having frustrations with a partner or relationship in your life and it's the battle of the wills, right? But you're in partnership to try to have your forces align and succeed together. So maybe you need to give a little bit or maybe you need to take more of your power into the partnership. You've got to figure that out. But this, let this breathing just clear the air so you can not be stuck in patterns of will, you know, willful is what we call a, a child who's determined to get their way. Yeah, we all are. Let's keep breathing. Come on, five more minutes, four more minutes. Let's do it. And the energy of this breath will change as you change. So maybe you're becoming more calm, less effortful. Maybe you're building a sense of, ah, I feel the strength and you're getting stronger here like this. the returning of my sense of power. If you feel the desire to crescendo this thing as we go, enjoy that. Because we're going to take a few more minutes at the end of this 11 minutes to just sit and bask in the energy that you've created. So that'll be the calm part, totally calm and empowered. That's the way of the world, really, to balance your will with thy will.
Perhaps your breath is deepening, lengthening, smoothing out. <clears throat> we have two more minutes to go now. Just feel yourself bringing yourself to a great place. Can you hear my voice shifting? My consciousness is shifting. I feel beautiful, mellow, but strong. Are you doing it with me? Come on. The breath, that elixir of life, I'm building it. I'm supercharging myself. I'm beginning to feel some tingling, some energy in my hands and feet, waking up my neurons. What's happening with you? Just don't think about it, but be aware, super aware, aware of yourself. Last 30 seconds, bring yourself to a nice, beautiful plateau. Bring yourself to where you'd like to be, where you'd like to dwell, live steady state in your life. Mm, sweet. That's our 11 minutes. So take this last breath in. And let's hold it very peacefully, still, no tightness, just radiance. And let it out through the mouth. More like a sigh this time. And let's do it twice more, please. Inhale. Mm. And let it out. And again in. I just feel like one huge smile. How about you? Okay, let it out. Relax your hands. Maybe you want to put them over the heart because you feel the dearness of life, maybe you just want to relax them down. And let's sit together in stillness for a minute. Just be. Peaceful body, peaceful mind. If you feel the urge to start thinking and getting busy again, just breathe and be in a space of peace for just long enough to imprint it in your sensory experience. I can live in peace. I can. Get along with what's going on. I can balance acceptance, being with the situation and using the will and the control I have to navigate through it. I can survive, I can thrive.
Beautiful. Well, there we go. Continue to enjoy. I'm going to sign off. Guru Mayer from SensesOfTheSoul.com. Um, let's create individual peace. Might be the best thing you can do for world peace. Certainly going to affect you immediately. So that's our 20 minutes. I hope it did help you reach peace. Uh, see you again next time. Practice this more often if it was good for you. Keep, keep, keep practicing. Keep moving in the up direction rather than the down. Love you.